is right, Mr. Dunson. But might be old Cookie might not like grubbing the trip all that way. You heard me good that time, didn't you? Straighten her out, will you, son? <clears throat> Thank you. In Hollywood's golden age, behind the glittering facade of fame and accolades, lurk shadows few dared to explore. Walter Brennan, a three-time Academy Award winner, epitomized the quintessential American character on screen. Yet off screen, his life painted a starkly different picture, rife with controversy and views that clashed dramatically with his public persona. In this video, we'll peel back the layers of one of Hollywood's most beloved actors, exposing a side that remained hidden from the spotlight. Walter Brennan was born on July 25, 1894, in Lynn, Massachusetts. Growing up in the nearby town of Swampscott, his life was far from the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. The son of Irish immigrants, his father worked as an engineer, while his mother stayed at home. Brendan's early years were filled with the type of pursuits of a young boy, but his dreams extended beyond the confines of his small town. At a young age, Brendan developed a keen interest in acting, a passion that was somewhat unexpected for someone from his background. However, life took a turn when World War I broke out. Brennan, feeling the call of duty, enlisted in the Army. He served as a private in the 101st Field Artillery Regiment in France. It was during this time that he faced one of his greatest challenges. Exposed to mustard gas, Brennan sustained injuries that would leave him with a distinctive high-pitched reedy voice. This unique voice would later become one of his most recognizable traits, setting him apart in the world of acting. After the war, Brendan returned to the United States with new ambitions. He worked briefly as a reporter for a newspaper in Boston, harboring dreams of moving to Guatemala to become a pineapple farmer. However, fate had other plans, and he never made it further than Los Angeles. In the early 1920s, Brennan ventured into real estate, making a significant amount of money. But the devastating real estate slump of 1925 wiped out his fortune. Broke but undeterred, Brennan found his way into the film industry, starting as an extra in Universal Studios' films. This job, though not glamorous, opened doors for him. From 1925 to 1935, he appeared in dozens of films in minor roles. His persistence paid off when in 1936, he landed a role in Come and Get It, a performance that earned him his first Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. This victory was followed by two more Oscars for his roles in Kentucky in 1938 and The Westerner in 1940, making him the first man to win three acting Oscars and solidifying his place in Hollywood history. Brennan's rise to fame was not just a story of talent meeting opportunity. It was a testament to his resilience and determination. From the battlefields of World War I to the sound stages of Hollywood, his journey was a remarkable leap from humble beginnings to cinematic legend. With an Oscar in hand, Brennan's career soared. Let's explore how his roles captivated audiences and secured his place in cinema history. Walter Brennan's ascent to Hollywood stardom is a tale of relentless ambition and exceptional talent, punctuated by his historic achievement of securing three Best Supporting Actor Oscars. This feat not only underscored his remarkable versatility as an actor, but also solidified his status as an indelible icon of the silver screen. Brennan's journey to acclaim commenced with his groundbreaking Oscar win in 1936 for his role in Come and Get It, where he portrayed Swan Bostrom. His masterful depiction of Bostrom, infused with warmth and complexity, not only clinched him the prestigious Academy Award, but also marked his arrival as a force to be reckoned with in Hollywood. This victory set the stage for a career that would be celebrated for its depth and diversity. Continuing on this trajectory of success, Brennan captivated the hearts of audiences and critics alike with his performance in Kentucky in 1938, where he played Peter Goodwin, a passionate horse breeder. This role further showcased his adeptness at navigating a wide spectrum of emotions, earning him his second Oscar and reinforcing his reputation as a versatile powerhouse of acting. In 1940, Brennan delivered yet another stellar performance in The Westerner, portraying Judge Roy Bean, a character that exemplified his knack for embodying complex, multifaceted personalities. His portrayal of Bean was both riveting and nuanced, garnering him his third Academy Award and etching him in the annals of cinematic history. However, 
Brennan's illustrious career was not immune to the pitfalls of typecasting, as he became increasingly identified with the archetypal roles of the curmudgeonly or endearing elder. Brennan encountered the double-edged sword of being pigeonholed. This phenomenon, while a testament to his skill in those roles, inadvertently narrowed the scope of characters available to him. Showcasing the challenging dynamics actors often face in Hollywood's casting landscape, Despite these hurdles, Brennan's legacy in film is proof of his extraordinary ability to breathe life into every character he portrayed. His performances, characterized by their authenticity and emotional depth, transcended the confines of typecasting, leaving an indelible mark on the hearts of moviegoers. Brennan's career, rich with memorable roles, continues to inspire actors and filmmakers, serving as a beacon of artistic integrity and dedication in the ever-evolving world of cinema. But beyond the accolades, a different story unfolded. Let's see the off-screen beliefs that stirred controversy around this celebrated actor. Walter Brennan, celebrated for his exceptional talent and winning three Best Supporting Actor Oscars, faced a significant shift in public perception due to his off-screen actions and beliefs. Brennan's political views and affiliations, particularly his involvement with the John Birch Society, began to cast a shadow over his illustrious career. The John Birch Society, known for its conservative and often controversial stances, counted Brennan among its members. This affiliation aligned him with positions that staunchly opposed the civil rights movement, a defining social struggle of his time. Brennan's political beliefs weren't just a private matter. He was vocal about them, using his platform and status to express views that many found divisive. Brennan's opposition to civil rights initiatives and his alleged racism became points of contention. Reports suggest that he was not shy about sharing his opinions, even celebrating events that were tragic for the civil rights movement. His stance on civil rights and social issues of equality was at odds with the changing values of American society during the 1960s. This part of Brennan's life is a stark contrast to the lovable characters he portrayed on screen. His involvement with the John Birch Society and his vocal opposition to civil rights did not align with the progressive movements gaining momentum during his later years. These actions and beliefs led to a complicated legacy, overshadowing his cinematic achievements with a cloud of controversy. Brennan's story serves as a reminder of the complex relationship between an artist's work and their personal beliefs. While his contributions to film are undeniable, his off-screen views and actions have led to debates about how to reconcile his artistic legacy with his political and social stances. This segment of his life invites viewers to reflect on the impact of personal beliefs on public legacies, especially for figures in the entertainment industry. Brennan's influence extended far beyond the screen. Now let's see how his voice shaped more than just characters, impacting society and politics. Walter Brennan, known for his iconic roles in Hollywood's Golden Age, also used his celebrity status as a platform to share his political and social views. With a career that spanned decades and earned him widespread recognition, Brennan's voice reached far beyond the movie screen, impacting his fans and society in significant ways. Brennan was not just a passive member of the John Birch Society. He was actively involved in spreading its conservative ideologies. His fame gave him a louder voice than the average citizen, allowing him to influence public opinion and political discourse. For example, he often spoke at events and rallies, where he shared his views on communism, civil rights, and other hot-button issues of the time. Through radio recordings and public appearances, Brennan's political stances were broadcast to a wide audience, leveraging his celebrity to lend weight to his opinions. The impact of Brennan's actions on his fan base and broader society was complex. On one hand, his outspoken nature resonated with those who shared his conservative views, strengthening his bond with a segment of his audience. For these fans, Brennan was not just an actor, but a spokesperson for their own beliefs and fears, making his films and television appearances all the more compelling. On the other hand, his political activism and controversial opinions alienated other portions of his audience. Those who opposed his views or were disappointed by his stance on civil rights issues found it difficult to reconcile the actor's off-screen persona with the characters he played. This dissonance led to a decline in his popularity among a more progressive demographic, showing how celebrity influence can be a double-edged sword. The broader societal implications of Brennan's use of his platform were significant. 
During a time of great social change in America, his anti-civil rights and conservative positions contributed to the cultural and political divide. His celebrity status meant that his opinions were not just personal views, but public statements, capable of shaping societal attitudes and possibly influencing the course of political events. As fear took hold, Brennan's life took a turn. Let's examine the impact of his growing paranoia on his later years and relationships. In the twilight years of his storied career, Walter Brennan found himself enmeshed in the grip of Cold War paranoia, a sentiment that significantly colored his interactions and strained relationships, both personal and professional. His fear of communism, a common thread among many of his contemporaries, was taken to extraordinary lengths. Brennan viewed communism not just as a political ideology, but as an existential threat that permeated every aspect of American life, from the glitzy corridors of Hollywood to the burgeoning civil rights movement, which he mistakenly conflated with communist influence. Brennan's staunch anti-communist stance was deeply interwoven with his activities within the John Birch Society, a group known for its radical views. This affiliation influenced his behavior within the film industry, leading him to become suspicious of colleagues, questioning their political leanings, and distancing himself from those he perceived as left-leaning. This period of McCarthyism, marked by fear and accusation, saw Brennan's fears manifest in tangible actions, dramatically altering the course of his life and relationships. Taking his fear to extremes, Brennan fortified his home against a feared communist invasion, constructing a bunker outfitted with necessities to withstand a siege. This sanctuary was stocked with ample supplies, including food, water, and an arsenal, readying him for a conflict he believed was inevitable. Beyond these physical preparations, Brennan immersed himself in survival training, acquiring skills he deemed essential for survival in a post-invasion scenario. This level of preparation speaks volumes about the depth of his paranoia and the extent to which his fear of communism consumed him. The impact of these actions on Brennan's later life was profound. His dedication to preparing for a communist takeover monopolized his time and resources, estranging him from those who did not share his apprehension. This isolation was a far cry from the beloved actor celebrated across Hollywood, transforming him into a figure more noted for his survivalist endeavors and political extremism than his cinematic achievements. This shift in perception marked a decline in his career, complicating the legacy of a man once revered for his contributions to the film industry. Brennan's story in his later years is a cautionary tale of how fear, when allowed to take root, can overshadow a lifetime of achievements. His descent into paranoia serves as a pointed reminder of the era's political climate and its ability to instill fear and division. As we look back on Brennan's legacy, we're compelled to view it through a lens that recognizes both his cinematic brilliance and the complexities of his personal beliefs and fears, offering a nuanced understanding of a man caught between two worlds. In the quiet of retirement, Brennan's legacy continued to evolve. Now let's reflect on his final years and the complex legacy he left behind. Walter Brennan, after a luminous career that left an indelible mark on Hollywood, chose to step away from the limelight. His retirement years were spent in Ventura County, where he lived a life far removed from the glitz of movie premieres and award shows. In this serene setting, Brennan found solace away from the public eye, dedicating his time to his family and personal interests. This period allowed him to reflect on a career that spanned decades and included roles that had endeared him to fans worldwide. Despite his retreat from Hollywood, Brennan remained a figure of interest and respect within the industry and among movie enthusiasts. His contributions to cinema were celebrated, with many looking back on his performances with fondness and admiration. However, his political views and actions during the later years of his life complicated his legacy, leading to mixed reactions from the public and those within the film community. Walter Brennan passed away on September 21, 1974, at the age of 80, due to emphysema. His death marked the end of an era for Hollywood's golden age. The news of his passing was met with a wide range of reactions, from heartfelt tributes highlighting his cinematic achievements to more nuanced reflections on his complex legacy. Brennan was laid to rest in San Fernando Mission Cemetery in Los Angeles, leaving behind a body of work that continues to be celebrated and scrutinized. In the years following his death, 
Brennan's legacy has been reevaluated by film historians, critics, and fans. While there's no denying his talent and the impact of his performances, his off screen beliefs and behaviors have sparked discussions about how to reconcile an artist's work with their personal views. Brennan's legacy, much like the man himself, is multifaceted. On one hand, he's remembered as one of Hollywood's greatest character actors, a man who brought depth and humanity to every role he played. On the other hand, his political activism and controversial views have led some to view him through a more critical lens. Today, Walter Brennan's contributions to cinema are acknowledged alongside a candid acknowledgement of the controversies that marked his later years. His story serves as a reminder of the complexities that often lie behind public figures and the enduring impact of their work and beliefs on their legacy. As time goes on, Brennan's life and career continue to be a subject of interest and debate, reflecting the evolving conversation around the intersection of art, personal beliefs, and public legacy. Brennan's story prompts us to question how we remember Hollywood's icons. It's time to put a light on the complexities of his enduring legacy. Walter Brennan's legacy in Hollywood is a captivating study of contrasts, embodying the intricate dance between remarkable talent and personal convictions that challenge contemporary norms. His journey through the golden era of cinema, marked by an unprecedented three Academy Awards for Best Supporting Actor, showcases a level of artistry and versatility few have ever matched. Brennan's ability to breathe life into every character, from the stern patriarch to the gentle, wise grandfather, has etched his performances into the annals of film history. His name, synonymous with acting excellence, continues to echo through the halls of Hollywood, captivating new generations of audiences with performances that transcend time. However, beneath the gleam of Oscar gold and celebrated roles, Brennan's story unfolds a layer of controversy that ignites ongoing discourse. His deep-seated affiliation with the John Birch Society and vocal stance against the civil rights movement sketch a portrait of a man firmly rooted in the conservative ideologies of his era. These convictions, sharply contrasting with the forward-moving currents that Hollywood now sails, cast a complex shadow over his cinematic achievements, prompting a re-evaluation of his place in film history. The task of reconciling Brennan's indelible contributions to the arts with the contentious aspects of his personal life falls to critics, historians, and fans alike. It's a delicate balance, weighing the undeniable brilliance of his performances against the backdrop of his off-screen beliefs. Brennan's legacy, marked by a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and his unparalleled success at the Oscars, underscores the impact he made on the industry. Yet it also propels us into a broader cultural dialogue about the intersection of art and the artist's ideologies. This conversation, reflective of evolving societal values, challenges us to question whether an artist's work can be disentangled from their personal views. Can the enchantment of Brendan's cinematic contributions be appreciated independently of his political stance? Or do these beliefs cast a long-lasting shadow over his legacy, complicating our admiration for the artist? Such questions are indicative of the broader, ongoing reevaluation of historical figures through a contemporary lens, underscoring a collective yearning for a more inclusive and critical understanding of our cultural heritage. As we dive deeper into the lives and legacies of those who shaped Hollywood's storied past, Brennan's narrative offers a compelling invitation to explore the nuanced realm of legacy. It prompts us to consider the rich tapestry of human experience, acknowledging the duality of immense artistic talent coexisting with personal views that clash with modern sensibilities. This exploration not only enriches our appreciation of cinematic history, but also fosters a more empathetic and comprehensive approach to recognizing artistic achievements within their broader cultural and historical contexts. In reflecting upon Walter Brennan's storied career and the intricate web of his beliefs, we are encouraged to broaden our understanding of the dynamic relationship between an artist's work and their worldview. Brennan's saga, interwoven into Hollywood's expansive narrative, beckons us to view its luminaries through a lens that appreciates the complexity of their contributions, both on screen and off, enriching our dialogue and deepening our connection to the art of filmmaking. Brennan's tale is a chapter in Hollywood's vast narrative. Let's broaden our view to consider how history's lens shapes our understanding of its stars. Walter Brennan's narrative unfolds within Hollywood's rich tapestry, 
marked by figures whose off-screen lives sparked as much discussion as their cinematic achievements. The golden era of Hollywood, celebrated for its groundbreaking films and iconic performances, also bore witness to stars whose personal lives and political stances stirred public debate. This period showcased a range of personalities, each as complex and layered as the roles they immortalized on screen. As we navigate through changing times, our perspective on these historical figures evolves. Actions and beliefs, once overshadowed by the glamour of celebrity status, now undergo a rigorous examination under contemporary moral and ethical standards. This shift in perception is not merely about casting judgment on the past, but rather a deeper understanding of its influence on our present and guiding principles for the future. It challenges us to ponder the implications of honoring artists whose personal ideologies may have perpetuated societal divides. Reflecting on Hollywood's illustrious past serves a dual purpose. It allows us to applaud the artistic ingenuity that has shaped cinema, while also recognizing that the industry's luminaries were products of their era. The journey through changing societal values underscores a heightened consciousness toward issues of racial equity, gender equality, and social justice, prompting a more nuanced appreciation of historical figures. In examining the lives of individuals like Brennan, we're reminded of history's complexity. It's possible to acknowledge someone's artistic contributions while critically evaluating their personal views and actions. Adopting this balanced approach fosters a deeper respect for historical achievements, ensuring they're celebrated within the context of evolving societal norms. This exploration into Hollywood's past and the intricate dance between societal evolution and the legacy of its stars enriches our cultural dialogue. It not only shapes our collective memory, but also imparts valuable lessons for a more inclusive and equitable future. As we study the stories of Hollywood's enigmatic figures, we're invited to engage in a thoughtful examination of the past, carrying its lessons forward to illuminate our path ahead. Walter Brennan's journey from Massachusetts to Hollywood stardom, marked by three Academy Awards, contrasts sharply with his controversial off-screen views and political activism. His story highlights the complex legacy of a beloved actor shadowed by divisive personal beliefs. We invite you to share your thoughts on Brennan's legacy and the challenge of separating an artist's work from their convictions. Check out our channel for more explorations into the lives of Hollywood's most enigmatic figures, where art and controversy often intersect.